good morning again, and uh, I'm really so thankful that you're joining me for these lessons as we we spend, you know, five days a week in the Word of God, and I hope and pray that this is really, really insightful and helpful and encouraging to your knowledge of Jesus, your love for Jesus, and your way of life for Jesus. Uh, we are in Psalm chapter 11, Psalm 11, and we're going to look at the second part of verse 1 through verse 3 today. And this is a psalm uh, whereby David is uh, reckoning with, he's, he's processing uh, how uh, he, the, the problems he's going through and how to deal with those problems. In particular, uh, he's coming to terms with the mindset and maybe even the advice that um, he's getting from others, perhaps even that he's wrestling with in his own mind and how to face these challenges in a way that not only believes in God, but trusts God and exalts in God. So we'll see that here in a second. First, let's pray together. Lord, give, I want to be not so arrogant, Lord, humbly we ask, give us insight and understanding to your word. Not that we might master your word, but your word might master us and might move us and motivate us. So Lord, take the lead, guide us and direct us for your glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm chapter 11. Uh, I'm going to start with the first line that I read in the last lesson. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrows to the string they, to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? I hope you hear in at least my attempt at reading the uh, sentiment of these verses. There's a level of panic. There's a level of uncertainty. There's certainly, definitely a great deal of concern. And the the response is very reactionary. It's it's not thought through. It's not built upon trust or dependence. It's the opposite of, in the Lord I take refuge. And that's where there's, there's this line that follows that. In the Lord I take refuge, how can you say to my soul? Now, we're not sure who the you is. The you could be in a sense, David speaking to himself, the you could be a, a third person or a representative body of third person speaking to David from outside of him. But regardless, the, the, there's this contrast that we're meant to see. In the Lord, I take refuge. How then can you say to my soul, flee, panic, run, uh, we, we, we see the, the verse 3, if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Abject despair. Now, if we're honest with ourselves, I, listen, if I'm on with, honest with myself, emotions can get the best of us at times. Anger, uh, lust, greed, um, indifference, all these kind of hot, cold, in-between emotionally, internally stirring kind of reactions that that are not also balanced by clarity of understanding, certainty of knowledge, of, of truth. And David here is, is helping us, I think, the Holy Spirit through David is helping us to be those that live our lives grounded in the certainty, in the Lord I take refuge. Therefore, even if I or they say to my soul these things, we need not fear. Perfect love casts out fear, so says the word. Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord 
with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, and all your ways acknowledge him, he'll make your path straight. Cast all your cares, your anxieties upon the Lord. See, when we make the Lord our refuge, our trust, when we, when we allow ourselves to be hidden in the safety and the security of his sovereignty, even if things do not work out the way we want them or hope they might, we are yet held in the palm of his hands. We are more safe in the hands of God in the midst of chaos than we are in the midst of our own hands, in the care of our own hands, in the midst of peace and calm, God is our great refuge. Allow him to be your refuge and hold you in the midst of the absolute uncertainties of life. Father, do this in our hearts and in our minds. Be our trust, our hope, our safety, our security, our joy, and through faith, by faith in Jesus Christ, not by uh, our likability, by our efforts, by our ingenuity, but by a surrendered, yielded, humble faith and dependence upon you. In the Lord, I take refuge. Let that be our cry and let that be our testimony. We we'll pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'll see you again tomorrow. May the Lord be your refuge.